What's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a green screen effect to your videos. In this situation, we're gonna actually use some missiles that are gonna be launched. So let me first show you guys what the effect actually looks like. So as you see here, I'm gonna press mute first so we don't have to hear this as I'm working on this effect. Over here, we have the green screen and the green screen needs to be keyed out. So at the beginning, we see the missiles launched and then we have a green screen right over here. So in the effects panel, we're gonna type in keying. Now that you see the keying effects here, we're gonna select ultra key and apply to the video. In the effects controls panel, once we have the video selected over here, we're gonna see the eyedropper. So we're gonna select this eyedropper and select the green right here. Now you see the green is removed. What I'm gonna do though is move the marker on the timeline so we can see if there's any green. If you see any artifacts, any green in the background from the green screen, what you want to do is select matte cleanup. When you select the matte cleanup, you have various options, choke, soften, contrast, and also the midpoint. You might notice a slight change here, but for the most part, the green is removed here. So I don't really need to use that. But if you use some of these options over here, it's going to clean up the green screen even more. So again, if you notice any green, all you have to do is select matte cleanup and you can start removing even more green from the background. Now this background over here is just something I put together from a video. So I just took a couple of clips and one clip is over here. I right click on second clip, select speed duration. It's in reverse speed. I only did this so we can have one portion of this video that I can apply the effect to. Now I'm gonna move the effect on the layer over here. This is video layer two. We have the background layer on video layer one. So what I'm doing here is just timing the effect where we have the background layer at a certain point. So the beginning is this missile launch. And then what we're gonna have is the effect applied to the video. Now, one thing I want to do is actually change the position of the effect. And this is very simple. In the effects controls panel, we have the option to do that. You're going to see motion over here, and then you can change the position. But before I do that, what I would like to do is actually move the marker right here where the explosion happens and see where I want that to be. So what we're going to do is scale this up. That way it covers the whole video. And then we can move this wherever we want. So it's really applying to the table right there. That's where I want the explosion to happen. So when the missile gets launched, it's going to land on the table there. So if we move the marker, we should see that. And right there, it's on the table. And that looks pretty cool. So now let's move to the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to unmute this and press play and see what this looks like. <laughs> And another thing about these kind of videos, right over here, I'm going to actually remove this because once this is exploded, I want to change the scene. And then we're going to select the pen tool, or you can select P on your keyboard. And then we're going to actually just create one point there and one point over here. And we're just going to do a fade out. The reason why I'm doing a fade out over here is because at the end of this scene, it's going to go to another scene. You can press V on your keyboard. So now we have the selection tool. I'm going to unmute this and let's see what this looks like. So you see how it kind of fades out? That's because we don't want an abrupt cut of the audio. If you just want the audio to switch to something else, you can do that, or you can create a fade out. Now, another trick for this is something in particular with explosions. If you're using special effects in After Effects or even Premiere Pro, a lot of times when you use explosion effects, there's a lot of noise, obviously, and the impact of the audio, and you don't want to blast all that audio through the speakers, especially for the people watching your videos. So what we can do over here is go to Window and select Audio Track Mixer. Now the Audio Track Mixer allows us to obviously, as it says, mix the tracks and also allow us to adjust the volume of the audio. So Audio Track 1 has a volume of 3. We can lower this over here or even over here. Another situation where you want to lower the audio, you can go onto the timeline and you can lower the audio there. Or if you have the situation where you need to increase the audio, you can do the same thing in Audio Track Mixer or on the timeline like this and you can increase the audio that way. So I would like to actually show you guys a clip on how I actually apply these effects to a video on my second channel. Esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón 
a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Premiere Pro CC where I showed you guys how to apply some special effects to your videos. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.